Hello and welcome back to Reeling Studio. Today we're talking about how to avoid false alarms. False alarms can be a nuisance, causing unnecessary stress and potentially deterring us to genuine threats. But fear not, we're here to share some expert tips on how to minimize false alarms. We're here to share some expert tips on how to minimize false alarms and ensure your Reeling camera operates smoothly. False alarm can occasionally be triggered by trivial moving objects, faulty equipment, low battery levels, improper installation and setup, user error and various other factors. So, how do we avoid false alarms from motion detection cameras? Just stick around and we'll guide you through that. Tip number one, strategic camera placement. To effectively reduce false alarms, it's essential to strategically position it for optimal performance. When positioning your battery-powered camera, stay clear of placing it near air vents that can blow hot or cold air. These air can trigger false alarms by causing movement in nearby objects, such as curtains or foliage. It will be best to opt for a location away from the vents to maintain consistent detection accuracy. Tip number two, avoid overexposure to light sources. Position your camera away from direct sunlight or strong artificial lights to prevent sensor overload. Consider installing a shade or protective cover for your camera to shield it from intense light sources, while still allowing for clear visibility. Adjust the exposure settings to compensate for varying light conditions and prevent false alarms caused by sensor saturation. Next, correctly setting up the motion detections and selective zone. Ensure that the motion detection settings and selective zoom are correctly configured. Use Reolink's motion detection settings to stop force alarms from moving things. You can change how sensitive it is and pick specific areas for it to watch. Let's make sure we set up the motion detection settings just right and select the specific zones we want to keep an eye on. To avoid getting false alerts caused by swinging doors or windows, you can use the Selective Zone feature. Simply draw zones on the areas you don't want your camera to pay attention to, like the doors or windows, and you'll avoid getting unnecessary alerts. It's a great way to make sure you're only alerted to the things that matter most. Next, it's important to keep your camera batteries fresh. When your batteries are 10% or less, you may experience false alarms or mixed alerts. So if you're using a battery-powered camera, make sure to recharge them regularly and avoid letting them run out of juice completely. Take steps to avoid wireless interference from other electronic devices. Keep your camera away from devices that may disrupt its signal, such as routers or microwaves, to ensure reliable performance. As we wrap up, remember that with careful planning and the right adjustments, false alarms can become a thing of the past for your reeling camera. As usual, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. While you're doing that, don't forget to write a comment down below on what you want to see on our next video. Until the next time, stay safe, stay secure. See you next time.